Welcome back to Hexen, everybody. We are going... Let's read this. The mightiest weapons and artifacts of the ancients barely sufficed to defeat their heresiarch and his minions. It is a heresiarch. But now their foul remains lie strewn at your feet. Gathering the last of your strength, you prepare to enter the portal which leads from the heresiarch's inner sanctum. Which was the entire chapel. Uh, above you, the ramparts of an immense castle loom. Silent towers and bare walls surround a single spire of black stone which squats in the centre of the castle like a brooding giant. Fire and shadow twist behind gaping windows, dozens of baleful eyes glaring down upon you. Somewhere within, your enemies are waiting. I do remember this one, and I really enjoyed the design of this level. I enjoyed it back then, um, and now as I look back... You have played this game too long, mortal. I think I shall remove you from the board. I enjoyed the sort of fourth wall thing going on there. Let's step back, because last time we did this we got shot through it. <laughs> when it when it went, uh... Okay. Boom! Let's see if they can reach them, shall we? I don't really do quite what I expected it to, but... This thing doesn't seem to care about me shooting it. So I guess we just keep doing so. It's doing the thing, which implies it's taking damage, but it's also very obviously not able to take damage right now, which makes me wonder what the frickin' frick is going on right now. I remember this level quite clearly. Oh yeah, not quite an oh, everything activates when you- I really like that. That's not even a uh, interesting trick that they did, they literally just made everything invulnerable until you went in and then everything started attacking you. Okay, I like that. Uh, I think the one, the part of this level I'm actually thinking of is, in fact, only one of the uh, things off this subworld. We'll soon see. I didn't realise that was there. That could have been the enemy. Let's try and get some health out of these bastards. Yep. These things are super weak, which is really helpful for getting HP out of them. We did come in here, by the way, with 200 of each mana, like I said I would. So... <laughs> We've already used some amount of that. I can't have a nice. Plenty of blue mana here, though. Which is good, because it's what I'm using predominantly right now to not die. The way I seem to deal with these, by the way... In case you're wondering, if you want to play the game yourself... When I run around here, I'm waiting to find it, um, I'm waiting to run into the hitbox of the stalkers. On the assumption that, you know, I will run around and hit the hitbox of the stalkers. Alright, so we had to be down there. It's one of those games you think you found some cool stuff? No, that's the, uh, that's the point. <laughs> You're supposed to do that. Um, careful. Um, you know, you run around, you hit the hitbox of the stalkers, and then you know you're about to run into a stalker that's about to jump up and get you. Thus, you get ready to fire. I, I just stood there and took that damage. I'm stuck on a thing. Very well. Let's, uh, let's do our usual trick of using all of our quartz flasks at the very start of a level. I think that's fairly likely to be common if you think about it. Maybe it's a statistics thing, but it seems reasonable that you'd use all your... HP giving things at the time when there's a lot of things trying to take your HP away from you as you progress through the level. Man, this very cool level. Um, as you progress through the level, fewer and fewer things will be trying to take your HP away from you, and then you will discover the replenishment. Oh, careful. Of those things. A couple of slightly longer episodes recently. I felt like making them longer rather than shorter was the better of the two options. It's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Not that I'm in any way damned by you know, doing this wrong. Oh, are you going to talk to me again? Of course you are. Right, so this time we won't waste our um, Wraith Verge ammo on... Shush. The enemies that are uh, stuck over there before they are actually... Uh, I... Because, look. So these don't activate until you step over here, right? Yep. Just keep going, my pretties. Fly, my pretties. I'm 
pretty sure this level is not the one that I was immediately thinking of. That wasn't very clever. Yeah, number two. The, uh, the Serpent Staff looks sufficiently like the Hexen Crossbow, that I forget that it's on two and not three. First world problems. First world 20th century problems. That is such a trivial problem to have, even in the, you know, narrow scheme of things. I have no business complaining about it. Also, meleeing these things seems to be a lot more effective than them. Um, I say meleeing, I mean getting into melee range with them. Apart from the fact that it's going to give me all that extra HP. Because I'm going to drain them of it, but... Um, it means they can't shoot me. Which is a thing that makes me sad. I don't like it when they shoot me. Because it hurts. I see. Where are you? Come on then! I'll get you! Careful. That thing shooting me right now is not my greatest. Not my greatest fan, and I'm not its greatest fan, so... I'm just going to stay here and wait for it to pop up and get me. I don't know what the hit radius of those things are. The clip radius, I suppose I should say. So it's entirely possible that while I'm running around here, they can't actually get to me in that corner. I know you're here. I'll come out wherever you are. I can't pick this up, so it's fairly encouraging. Not hugely a fan of it. I think I might have to save this regularly, simply because there's always something shooting me, as far as I can tell. Which means that basically I'm going to die on a regular basis, because I'm... Okay, I appreciate that I'm running around being rash right now. Yay, kill each other, I don't care. Um, but, I mean... These things up here are going to be such a ball to kill. But I kind of just want to ignore them for now. Seem to have done better that time. We've only used... Well, apart from the fact that that just hit me for my entire Quartz Flask. Seem to have used somewhat less of the uh, Quartz Flasks this time as we did last time. It may take just some patience to deal with this, but, you know, patience is as patience does. Come on now. Maybe this is another Wraith Verge job. Here you go. Seems to have got something done. Happy with that. I do like the bass work in this. Sounds like they actually got a bassist in and said, play some music for us. Happens on a very rare occasion. If I may get on my soapbox temporarily, it's one of the things that bugs me the most about music. I was going to say music these days and sound like a really old man and complaining, but in fact, it's just music in general, especially like pop music. But. Don't get me wrong, it's not just pop music. If you listen to... There's a, a chap whose name I forget who has a small rant about Patch Bell's canon in D. Because the cello part is probably one of the most boring pieces for any instrument in any piece of music ever penned by the mind of man. And yet, you know, Patch Bell's canon in D is a very, very common piece of music and it's very well known. So it's catchy. But even back then, being a bassist was extremely boring. But I think the thing that bugs me is not that... Um, not that that's the case, but it's, it doesn't have to be the case. It's like people don't bother training bassists to play decent bass lines. And I'm not saying... I'm, I play bass originally, that's the first thing I learned to play, but I'm not a musician in the sense that I don't write music. I didn't learn music uh, theory sufficiently to do anything other than sort of jam with people and hope that I don't play a bum note. Right? So I, I couldn't... I don't compose music. I couldn't compose music. This is bad. I don't like this thing here. I'd wish that they'd attack each other way more often. <laughs> it's not helping. Um, so, I'm aware that it's a... It's a learned but also possibly a rare skill to be able to put something together that is both musically interesting but also appropriate. If anyone could do it, surely Patch or Bell can do it, right? A, a, a great composer of his time. But it seems like even Patch or Bell gave up when it comes to writing bass music and just did the very bare minimum. In fact, a lot of 
even the most boring bass lines of our modern time of modern music are considerably more interesting than patch of bells can it oh i haven't got any blue mana I, that was really confusing obviously i've used it all maybe it's time to save this so I'm remembering whilst running around here about the the motif in this pub world, which is that there's a giant clock with missing um, gears. We have to go and collect them. And I don't recall whether there is also the, um, the familiar set of, you know, I guess, 12 this time switches to pull. I honestly don't remember whether those are in it. I just ran around that for no real reason. Be careful of those. Maybe the death of you. Or the death of you. It's when there's too many people. Ow. I think a death is, uh, uh, is too few, not too many, right? Like a, a severe lack. So. A, the death of you would be. Wait, where have you gone? Wait. This is where the clock... Oh no, that's where a clock piece is. This is very frustrating because obviously... I don't want to get close enough to it to use my... Um, melee weapon. But I also don't want to get... Oh, jeez. I don't want to be using this weapon because it's bad against centaurs and sword monsters, so... Sort of damned if you do, damned if you don't in that situation. But I'd rather use the mana than take the HP this stage, that may change. A bit of blue mana, finally. Give me that. Good. Well, you can guess what's going to happen there. So I'm going to wait until we've actually cleared out some more of the level before I try triggering any traps. That actually died, which is outrageous. I saw that coming, you saw it too, but you didn't have to see it, I did, so I'm proud of myself. There's probably something to kill me in there too. Ow. So this is what I mean, there's always something to shoot you. So, well, apparently letting them beat each other up is the best thing to do here. Well, that's going to trigger a trap, that's going to trigger a trap. I don't remember how many gears there are. Such an intricate design as well. There's always little nooks and crannies that they didn't have to make. You know, and the, the juxtaposition of textures, if you'll forgive my uh, unnecessarily flowery phrasing of that. Obviously, these people are professional level designers, but this is from a time where professional level design was you know, it's not the... Uh, the industry that is uh, this. That saves us a few quartz flasks, which may or may not be worthwhile. I mean, we're going to use the mana anyway. Hello? Well, that cost us one. It literally does do a full 25 damage. Very nearly. Maybe literally was the wrong word to use once again. Look. It's one of those words that's become tainted, but as mentioned previously, I don't use the word to misuse the word figuratively. I use it because it's not figurative at all, but it may not be entirely accurate. It's literal, but inaccurate. How about that? Does that work for you? I think that works. You know, I can be literal and inaccurate. It's literal, but approximate. How about that? Does that work for you? I think that works perfectly well. There's the clock. Such a cool idea. And of course, they didn't have physics engines. They didn't have. Um, they didn't even have the sort of um, engine that could cope with anything other than the horizontal surfaces and vertical ones, and yet produce something rather amazing out of text. So if we use these, they open, see that? And there's gaps. Obviously we put the 
gears in the gaps. And then this goes. Right? And that looks like it moves as well, does it not? Can't get in there. Invisible wall. Well, we still use invisible walls even today, which is mildly upsetting, but... It's definitely something that if you were a game designer, you would design around, but... Ooh, that was close. It's not, uh, it's not unforgivable, but it's really, really jarring. No, this is the, uh, this is the level I thought it was. I just don't rem remember it being this, um... Light, I guess. I just remember it being a lot greyer. Maybe there's another part of it that's grey and viney, but this is not it. I'm doing this out of consideration for the fact that both of our mana levels are below 100 right now. Which is not enough. So get in here and kill this before it does too much of a mischief. There's probably one back here as well. Oh no. Okay. Make me wrong, why don't you? So this probably activates those um, lifts. Or at least it's one of several things activate those lifts. I think this might be worth using mana to kill this. Ow. I'm glad that I'm basically exclusively using quartz flasks because if I weren't, I'll be constantly trying to figure out how to get back to quartz flasks. 42% health did mention, by the way, that you can probably assign. Ooh! <laughs> that was very risky, but it paid off. Um, specific buttons to use specific items, which would not surprise me. There may be more of those switches. In fact, there may be one where that other Afrit was being protected by it. No, there's not. Okay. Thanks, game, for being consistent and understandable. Again, much more cerebral, and even saying that is not actually that thinking. You know, it's um, still a fairly simple game by today's standards, but by the standards of something like Doom, where you just run around and if there's still something moving, you shoot it. Having to discover things and get from A to B in the correct way and go back to places you thought you'd already cleared out because an entire section has opened up. It adds a level of depth to it. That, um, you don't get in a game like that. And I think that's the... Ooh. The important thing that nearly killed me straight up. In fact, I'm going to save it because I don't want to die out again. I don't want to die, and it's not in a save scummy sort of way, it's in a that would be very boring to redo sort of way. Shoot in the bush. I don't want to shoot the bush. There are several of these switches, no doubt. Pressing them all will be our goal. However, there's a thing there which luckily had nothing in it because I wasn't paying enough attention to have noticed it. That's our first teleport. So, you may, you'll be forgiven for having realised and wondering why I, I haven't mentioned the fact that there are already two gears on this map and apparently only four or five places for them to go, meaning that it kind of expects that maybe all of the... Ooh, thank you. Maybe all of the gears are right here. In the hub. That would be nice. I suspect it is not the case. I suspect the fact that there are two gears that we have seen are very obviously traps is uh, not a misreading on my part, although I do seem to misread traps in this particular game a lot more than in any other game I've ever played. So, But the fact that there were uh, those faces that always shoot poison darts at you next to one of them kind of makes it hard to misinterpret. It's a scary, dangerous place to be. Is that all of it? Something's moving. I can hear moving. Great. I think that means that's working. I don't really want to be up there. I guess we're going to have to at some point. We should probably think about using our flechettes as well. To some extent. Not seeing the uh, 
desired effect there, but maybe it was the front ones that go and maybe the back ones don't go yet. I don't know. Careful of those things, they will kill you. Indiscriminately. <coughs> I think must die. It does not appear like those have actually been activated by that situation that I put myself in, so... Keep looking. Keep looking. Don't want to step on that, even though it looks like there's no way to avoid it. We're okay. Yeah, I did think this place was a lot darker. It, it feels like it should be darker than it is. There's probably a third one in there, actually. And then there's plenty of places we haven't even had the opportunity to visit because we probably need to go up there to have a look in them. So I am currently anticipating finding all five um, gears in this level. And therefore, I don't want to zone to the other level just yet because I may find it. There's not much to do there, basically. I could be wrong. I mean, in the previous level, we did have to scatter ourselves to the four winds to find the stones that went into the orrery-type display. You know, different levels have different motifs. I assume that I found all of these switches, but honestly, I have no idea what they do. It's another level of consistency because these types of switches always seem to be one of many, the moon switches. Um, and sometimes the rope switches are, but oftentimes the rope switches just activate something in and of themselves. Not helping. Um, so leave me alone. There we go. Tells you which ones they go. One, two. Yeah, there's only four. So it seems reasonable to suggest that maybe uh, this is all of them. Oh, where did you all come from? You you hit that, so I don't have to hit it quite as many times. I love how the bishop doesn't care about the etting. So just leave me alone. I'm attacking the player. You know what they say? Don't head the Hit the game. Do they have splash damage when they die? That's a bit OP. Oh, this has come down. There's a... Yeah, there's another one. Right, okay. So this will be what those moon switches did. Pop gear. Get. Presumably, this goes up at some point by magic, because there is a switch up there which looks like a 112 type switch. So we leg it through here and hope for the best. That was fine. We go in here, we expect that nothing happens until we pick up the gear. So we pick up the gear from this direction and run. <laughs> I uh, headbutted the microphone, I hope you didn't hear it. Apologies. doing one shot at a time right now. <laughs> Trying to conserve mana as much as possible. But it's still going. It doesn't help. Uh, you can shoot as much as you like because there are enemies in front of you. I appreciate this trap here for basically shooting itself and therefore making it safe to be in this room. That's three clock gears. And then the fourth one is in this room here. No doubt about that. Ow. Just saying. Hashtag just saying. I'm pretty sure that... Everything... Okay. Step on these? No. Something obviously activates those because they are activated. Never activate that, uh kids TV program that tried to get you to go outside and do stuff. I always remember it because it used to say Active 888 in the top right hand corner to tell you that there were subtitles. 
Like, it was called Active and then an 8 because it was like the 80s or 90s and that was cool back then. Now it's just, like, it's just leak speed now, isn't it? So now it gives a toss. Well, this is not where it was. Let's just switch in here that I didn't see. Let's have another look. But the fact that there's no outside. Oh, I don't want to select the four collector plants. They're actually in my hotbar, so I can see that there are three of them. Not there. There's a switch. Here. Presumably made something happen. Somewhere. <laughs> okay. Not not the anticipated behaviour of that switch, but it is what it is. Uh, so where would the fourth one be? Probably up there. Oh, those are going now. Okay. Well, it seems like a good time to put a cut in. It's been a bit of a long episode again because I always lose track of time. But uh, I think for now, we will leave it at three clock gears. We'll go and try and find the other clock gear and stand somewhere safe while I talk about this. Um fourth clock gear will then activate the clock and I believe I was correct they're all in here and then we're gonna have a look at that other level and see what this hub has to offer and don't forget this is the one that the secret level on the second hub opens something in so I'm interested to figure out what that is in fact that could well be it but until the next episode thank you for watching this one don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you liked it uh, and until then I'll see you